Welcome to FI News Review. I'm your host, Brittany Bohr. In this episode, we're going to be talking about the exploding trend of Mexican cuisine in America. The rise of Mexican cuisine in America can be seen from restaurants to food trucks, and it's becoming an integral part of the American dining experience. So is Mexican food on its way to becoming America's food? To find out, let's bring in Liz Muentes. It is her first appearance on the FI News Review, so I just want to give you a really warm welcome, Liz. Thank you so much, Brittany, for having me. Okay, so give us the details. How has Mexican cuisine been really trending upward in the American food industry? Sure, Brittany. So Mexican food has really trended upward in the U.S. over the years as more and more people are flocking to Mexican cuisine. According to Pew Research Center and Data Central, about one in 10 restaurants in the U.S. is serving Mexican cuisine. In the past decades, Mexican cuisine has had a surge in popularity, which has been attributed to the growing Hispanic population that has bought the traditional flavors to the mainstream. And what's interesting is that over 85% of American counties have at least one Mexican restaurant. About 22% of those are considered fast food, 12% serve tacos, and another 8% are food trucks. But believe it or not, Taco Bell has the largest share of U.S. Mexican food market with over 7,700 locations. That accounts for almost 10% of all Mexican restaurants in the U.S. So why do you think that there's such appeal? Well, the Mexican-American population is growing with over 37 million people in the U.S. alone. And during 2010, the domestic Hispanic population grew by 23 percent. But there's so much appeal to Mexican food because it features a variety of flavors. Younger generations are increasingly drawn to the Mexican cuisine due to its vibrant flavors, cultural richness and dietary preferences. So Mexican cuisine offers a diverse range of flavors from spicy to tangy, sweet and savory. It's also for those health conscious individuals who like fresh, healthy ingredients like vegetables, beans, lean meats, including vegetarian, vegan and gluten free options. Mexican food is also very affordable. Almost 10% of all transactions of Mexican food are under $10, while many others come in under 20. And we can't forget about social media and the significant role it has in popularizing Mexican food. With visually appealing dishes often going viral on platforms like Instagram and TikTok, the trendiness of Mexican street foods such as tacos, elotes, combined with affordability and accessibility of these foods through food trucks and casual dining spots makes Mexican cuisine attractive and popular among younger generations eager to explore diverse and different culinary experiences. And my final question for you, Liz, what is the future of a Mexican food in America? So the future of Mexican food in America looks promising. As more people discover and enjoy its rich flavors, we can expect more traditional dishes and Mexican restaurants to spread throughout the country. It's interesting to see that the fastest growing Mexican restaurant scene is in the nation's capital of Washington, D.C., followed by Maine, Delaware, Wisconsin, and Montana. We are seeing Tex-Mex also rising as well and blending its traditional Mexican flavors with American influences. So I see that Mexican food is really leading in the U.S. right now, and it's not stopping anytime soon. Well, it certainly sounds like Mexican cuisine is a force to be reckoned with here in the U.S., and I'm excited to see where this trend goes. Liz Montes, producer and reporter for the Food Institute, thank you so much for your insights today. Thank you so much, Brittany. And as always, you can check out more of our great content by clicking on this playlist. Until next time, I'm Brittany Borer from the Food Institute.